Hello viewers, you're welcome to another exciting problem on our channel. Today we'll be learning linear equation in algebra, all right? So I'm going to walk you through all of these examples one step at a time. So get your materials ready and if you want to stretch out, stretch out because it's going to be a long solving. Well, of course, it's going to be interesting. So let us go into the first question right now. All right, now the first thing you want to do here is just to distribute with three. 3 multiply x and 3 multiply minus 2. So you have 3x minus 6. When you do the multiplication, then you have here 4x plus 5 equal to 6. And now you see this whole equation is scattered with x and numbers. So you want to collect like terms. You want to arrange it very well. So you collect like terms. So you have the variables, let the variables stay in this left-hand side and let the number stay in the right-hand side after the equality sign. So we have it to be 3x. This guy comes here, it's having 4x. And now we have 6 outside. When this 6 that is negative comes outside, it becomes positive. And this 5, when it goes out, it becomes minus 5. And that's how we collect like terms. When you collect like terms, you want to be very sure that when the negative is crossing the equality sign, it turns to negative. Uh, sorry, it turns to positive. And when positive is crossing the equality sign, positive changes to negative when it crosses the equality sign, and negative changes to positive when they are all crossing the equality signs or the inequality signs. All right. So now we have equality sign here. So that's why they are changing. So 3x plus 4x is just like 3, 3 um, rats plus 4 rats. That would give us 7 rats right but now we're talking about x so 3x plus 4x will give us 7x all right 6 plus 6 is uh 12 then 12 minus 5 will give us 7 right and now we want to get the value of x so you want to divide everybody by 7 so that this 7 will cancel out the 7 and x will be the subject and x will be equal to 1 7 over 7 is 1 so that is the first solution for this question, let us go to the next question and see what it has for us. Boom. All right. Now, the first you want to do is to remove the bracket. Open up the bracket. Now, you want to use 2 to open here, and you will use 6 also to open here. So, let me get my calculator. All right. So, 2 times W will give me 2 W, and 2 times 3 will give me 6 minus 10. Of course, this 2 cannot multiply 10 because 10 is not inside the parentheses, okay? Then equal to 6 times 32. I have to do it here, but I can't find my calculator. So I have 32 times 6. 6 times 2 is eight. Um, is 12, rather than 2, carry 1. 6 times 3 is 18 plus 1 is 19. So I have 192. Then minus 6 times 3 will give me 18 w right and now you want to collect like terms arrange them properly that is collecting like terms so you have 2 w this guy comes over becomes plus 18 w i explained why it's changing when the sign crosses the equation so i explained that earlier so here we have 192 is 6 comes here minus 6 is 10 comes here plus 10 and now we have you have to be 20 w is equal to uh um that will give me 100 and 208 right i think i've got it yeah eight this is eight then yeah yeah plus 10 that should give me 208 so now we want to divide everybody by 20 so that i get w right so we divide here by 20 like this so w is equal to sorry so w is equal to um, so W equal to, uh, you can divide everybody here by, by what now? By four, I think four can divide. Four divide 20 is five, and four divide 20 here is five, and divide eight is um, two, so you have 52 over five. So that is the value of W, so you can do the division by yourself, and that is how you go about it. So question three, all right, now we have a fraction, and I don't like working with fraction. I like to clear out the fraction. How do I clear out my fraction? I'll look for the common denominator. I'll look for the lowest common multiple in the denominator here, so I'll multiply it both sides. So what's the LCM here for all the denominator? The LCM is 15. So I'll multiply everybody here by 15, and let's see how it goes. I'll multiply these guys by 15, so I have 4x 
4 into 5 y minus 3 over 3, right? So this guy, so multiply here also by 15. So we have 3, 5 y minus 2 over 5. And here also by 15, 15, 8 over 15. So let's see the outcome when we do this operation. Now you see this 3 can cancel out 15. You have 5 <clears throat> and 5 times 4, sorry, is 20 into 5y minus 3. Then minus 5 here cancel out 15. You have 3. 3 times 3 is 9 into 5y minus 2. And of course, 15 cancels out, so you're just left with 8. Now you see, it's now a clear and very easy way to solve right now. So I can now go ahead and distribute like this. So that is pretty much how it works. 20 times 5y will give me 100y. And 20 times minus 3 will give me minus 60. Minus 9 times 5 will give me minus 45y. And minus 9 times minus 2 will give me positive 18 equal to 8. So you want to arrange everybody in their like terms. So you have the y's here, 100 y. You have minus 45 y. Then you have eight. Then these guys go over here. It becomes plus 18. This one goes over here. Sorry, sorry, sorry. That's wrong. That should be minus 18 because it's positive. When it goes over, it becomes minus 18. And here becomes plus 60, right? So, of course, you know that um, 100 minus 45, that will give me 55, right? 55 y, 100 y minus 45 y, that's 55 y. So now the next thing, 8 minus 18, that will give me minus 10, minus 10 plus um, 60, that will give me uh, 50, right? Yeah, that should give me 50, of course. So now you, you want to get the value of y, so you divide everybody by 55, divide here by 55, so these guys cancels out y will equal to five here is 10. We divide these guys by five and divide here by five. So you have 10 over 11. So that's the value of y for question three. Question four, the same thing we do in the question three, that's the same thing we're going to do here. So you just look for the LCM of the denominators. The LCM here is um, 15, that's three and five is 15. So multiply everybody by 15. So you have 15 multiplies x minus 7 over 5, and 15 multiplies 5x over 3, and that will be equal to 15 multiplying 3 over 1, which is the same as 3. So this 5 cancel out 15, you have 3, so you have 3 into x minus 7, 3 cancel out 15, you have 5, so you have 5 into 5x, and uh, 15 times 3 should give me 45, 45, right? Yeah. So distribute with 3, distribute with 5. So you have 3x minus 21 plus 25x is equal to 45. Now you collect like terms, arrange them according to your like terms. 3x, 25x, it will be here like this, right? And you have 45 plus 21, when these guys go over to that side, it becomes positive. And that should give me 66, right? Five plus one is six, 66. And here should give me um, 28x, right? Yeah, so this is pretty much how you simplify all of these things with ease. Now, the next thing you want to do is divide everybody by 28. So you have 28x, uh, equal to 66, six, divide here by 28, divide here by 28. These guys cancel out, x is now equal to, of course, what can divide these guys? Let's start with two. Two divide here, you have, um, you have 33, and here you have um, 14, right? What else can divide? Uh, I think that's the last, so that is 33 over 14. So that's the value of x. Let's see if we still have more question for us. Question, wow, so this is the last question we have for the linear equation. I hope you find this interesting. If you still have challenging question, please put it down on the comment section. I'll do well to respond to that. And thank you for watching. Hope you watch, you enjoyed this video. I want to see the next video tutorial. Thank you and God bless you. Bye-bye.